Coming up today on That LTD Life, Layer Path is back, and this time it's an AppSumo daily deal or deal of the day, whatever they're calling it right now. Black Friday is in full swing, everything at AppSumo is 10% off, and they brought back one of my favorite tools of 2024, and that is Layer Path. Layer Path is great because it makes it so easy to create a guide or tutorial or document an SOP without having to fire up Loom and ramble through like an idiot. Layer Path will have you all cleaned up and sounding like a total pro. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to use Layer Path in this video, but first let's go ahead and check out the offering from AppSumo. Now keep in mind that this tool is a daily deal, which means that this price will not be available long. So watch the video, decide whether or not it's for you, and then go ahead and click my link in the description to pick up one of these plans. Now there are three tiers available. I think they might be adding a fourth, but I don't have all of the scoop on that. So check when you're at the deal page if there's a fourth tier, tier available. But uh, essentially we've got tier one, which it's, it's, it's a tier, it exists, but all of the features that uh, I want are in at least tier two personally. As we get into the, the tool, you'll see why. So we get video editor, playlists, advanced branching, and permissions and analytics in tier two. You don't get any of that in tier one. Everything else is kind of usage based between the two of them, right? So if you need more users, you need more credits, well then definitely go to the higher tier. With tier three, it adds even more helpful features. Some of them are kind of nice to have like uh, the 3D effects and animation. That's good for if you're making promo videos inside of Layer Path, but if you're just doing this for like SOPs and things like that, it's more for the marketing aspect to things to be honest. But yeah, they, they do look good. They're aesthetically pleasing, so they're nice to have. The other features you'll get in tier three are redact, so you can blur out sensitive information in their video editor. Uh, we've also got user collaboration, workspace access, and custom domains. So these are all features that could be important to you, whether or not they are is kind of, you know, a case by case scenario. If they are, you gotta go up to tier three to get access to them. All right, now truth be told, I made a full review of Layer Path not that long ago, and it was huge. It's 50 minutes long. I go into every single feature of Layer Path. I'm not gonna do that again because that video still exists and I'll link to it in the description. So if you want a very deep dive into each and every button of Layer Path, go check out that video. This one's gonna be kind of the TLDR, like how do I get up and running with this tool? What is the simplest way to utilize it? So let's go ahead and check it out. The first thing you're gonna want is their Chrome extension, which you can get after you sign in and click over in the corner here to get the Chrome extension. Once you've got that Chrome extension, just go ahead and click it once, and then you're gonna set up your screen size right over here. Now, I'm gonna leave mine as it is because it's all formatted for my screen recording, but it's actually kind of nice. You click over here and you can choose one of the presets and that way your aspect ratio is perfect for the type of screen that you're recording. Next, you just need to go ahead and hit start recording and then do the thing that you need to do. We get a little countdown here. I can have some key commands if I need them. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to search for a deal on AppSumo and make a purchase. Very, very difficult, right? So I'm gonna type in Gumlet and then I'll scroll down to video and press return. All right, here's the deal. I can read the deal page, so I'll scroll down. All right, very interesting copy here. I'm scrolling. And now I've made it to the different tiers. I can go ahead and I'll just buy tier one. I get to the checkout page. I can go ahead and proceed to the checkout, hit no thanks. And then right about here is the point where I'm gonna stop the recording, not show you all my private info. So we'll go back up to layer path, and then I'm gonna choose finish recording. And at this point, it brings me right into the Layer Path website and it's getting my guide ready to go. Now I've already got it all branded with the colors that I like. Uh, so you'll see that the, the buttons here are yellow to match our website and go ahead and watch this as a tour, but they've also made a guide as well as a video for me. We get all three formats from the same recording. And so let's just check each one of them out. Let's start off with a tour. This is going to be an interactive tour. So you have to click to move to the next step. So it says, enter the value, click here. Now I can change this later, don't worry. All right, so I will click there. And now it shows me typing. So it's got a little video recording of what I did. We can tighten all of this up. It's very easy to do. So it typed in Gumlet video and progressed to the next screen. And then it shows me scrolling down to the right part. You can imagine that if you were doing this to say, show your wife how to you know move something in their email to filter it out or automate something, like, or your coworker, whoever you're making the videos for, like, it would be very easy to do so. Can you tell I provide a lot of tech support to my wife? That's my default thought. <laughs> okay, so then step four here says, click buy now button. So it was able to read the button on the screen. 
an improvement of the last time where it said like enter the value. So it will grab the right text when it can, but it's not gonna be foolproof. And it takes us to the next screen, shows us to click, and it shows uh, click the proceed to checkout button. All right, now on to the last step here. It says, excited by what you saw in our demo, try it for yourself, and it can replay the tour. So that's how this section works. Let's go ahead and check out the guide, and I'll show you the editor after this. All right, the guides are probably my personal favorite because it gives you this nice step-by-step -step guide of what to do, where you can see on the left, kind of like a table of contents, and I can easily go to each step, and it auto-scrolls you to that step, and it's all highlighted and marked up. It even includes videos when necessary. Yeah, I like the guides the most. They are the best in my opinion. Now there is AI to rewrite the titles of everything, so don't worry, you don't have to do all of this by hand, and we'll get into that in a moment when we get to the editor. But first, let's check out the video section to see what that looks like. So here is our video, zero effort done. It's about a minute long, I can hit play here. You can see all of the zooming in and out. Uh, you know, I was, I was talking as I was doing this, so it's kind of a slow process. So then it's just gonna play through the exact screen recording that I just made with no real edits here, but it will zoom in and out automatically and also highlight any mouse clicks and things like that. Okay, so I clicked the recording once in layer path and I ended up with three different assets here, the tour, the guide, and the video. Now let's look at very briefly how to edit each. With the tour loaded up, I will click on the edit button. And then just like you're editing a PowerPoint, you get all of your slides over here to the left. You can move them around, add in new slides if you want. Uh, but yeah, really you can just go ahead and click on the one you want and then move all of this stuff around where it needs to be. Grab this, let's say I wanted the, the button to be clicked right over here. Now it's over there. Now what I wanna do is use AI to make this a little bit easier to understand. So I'm gonna click right up here where it says enhance with AI and then it asks the language as well as the category of what I'm trying to do. And then I just simply describe the recording. Okay, so I just wrote that I'm trying to teach people how to buy Gumlet on AppSumo. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And now it says generating up here because the AI is looking at the video and it's gonna go ahead and rewrite all of my titles. All right, now it says content generated successfully and the title just updated. It says how to search for Gumlet video on AppSumo, add a cart and proceed to checkout. And now when I open up the second slide here, it says open your web browser and navigate to AppSumo's website. Once you're on the homepage, use the search bar and enter Gumlet video and then press enter to find the product. Whoa, that is so much better. And it's basically like this all the way through. It's got great descriptions in every single tooltip. And if I need to make an adjustment, I can just click on it and change it over here. When I'm happy with everything, I'll click on the preview button to just check it out in real life or what it might look like. And then I can go ahead and share this. I've got a lot of different ways to share it. I can publish it here and that gives me a link that I can just share directly with your client or whoever you're making the video for, your wife. You can go ahead and embed it on your website if you like, or you can export it as a video or as a GIF. So here's what the share link looks like. You can see I've already got it branded with our logo in the upper left-hand corner. It looks really nice. You can go ahead and just go right through the tour, shows you exactly what to do. Okay, so that's the tour. Let's move over to the guide, editing the guide. Any of the changes I made in the tour will not do anything to the guide or the video. So we're gonna go ahead and enter the edit screen here. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and enhance with AI. It's gonna give me essentially the exact same screen here. I'll give it the same prompt. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll hit apply. And once again, it's using AI to fix all of my laziness. And the content has been generated. And now my step-by-step -step guide is a lot more helpful, although it still didn't get enter the value right. So I'll probably change this one. Okay, so I updated step one, search for Gumlet video. Now, steps two and three both say the same thing. What gives? Well, one of them is a video and another is a screenshot. You'll see what I mean. Step two here is to click the buy button, but it's the entire recording of me scrolling down the screen. So I might wanna delete this one. In this case, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But once we get to what was step two, three before is now step two, well, we see the nice little markup where it's got the uh, buy button outlined. And now in step three, it says proceed to the checkout and it shows the little video of doing that. Kind of the same thing here, right? Cause then on the step four, it's showing the same screenshot with the outline around the proceed to the checkout button. So I might, you know, again, get rid of the videos. I don't really like the videos too much personally inside of the guides. Okay, so I had to update step four as well. It honestly didn't do quite as well on the AI with the guide as it did the tour. I could have just run it again, but it's so few steps, it's simpler for me to just enter in a couple of words here. 
Now, all of the same sharing options are here for the guide. You get a separate link for the guide than we did the tour, and you'll also get a separate link for the video if you wanna share that. But there's a few other options for sharing guides. We can smart copy to be able to easily paste into tools like Microsoft Word or Notion, so just copy here, paste out. But we can also just get the HTML or the markdown if you prefer that. And once again, we can export this as a video, a GIF, or even a PDF, which with the guide, that actually makes a lot of sense. And finally, we've got the video editor. This is a really simple and easy to use interface. So up here is kind of the title or the opening screen. Then down here, we have the closing screen. In the middle is our screen recording itself. So here's where we can see all of the zooms that happened. Like, let's say I didn't want this zoom, I can easily just remove it. Now, if you're a developer and you wanna use LayerPath to make sales videos for your product, this part of the tool might actually be the most interesting. To me, it's not. I'm not a developer, I don't have any products to sell, so I wouldn't make them here inside of LayerPath. But uh, you can like actually you know, get those like nice 3D effects here with this little tilt option. Again, you need tier three or above to actually get these features, but uh, yeah, they're pretty cool looking. We've all seen these things you know, where you've got the video kind of tilted and then you can add in the zoom effect. And then here's what it looks like. You know, we can speed up or slow that zoom down too. Right now the zoom's on auto, but you can also go to manual and then maybe go in like a little bit less tight. And if you wanna slow it down, just drag it out this way. In the layout section, you can add backgrounds. So you can do any of their nice gradient backgrounds or set a solid color if you prefer. You can use any of their background music if you want to. And they have some more effects in here as well. So we've seen zooms and tilts. They've got the blur, the redact, remember that was a feature, as well as highlighting. So if you wanted to highlight something on the screen. So let's say I wanted to highlight this button right here. Well, I can simply add in the highlight effect right here. And then over in this little picker, I can choose it so that if I play back the video, that's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna highlight the area that I have selected for the time period that this is dragged out. So if I wanted it longer, I'd make it longer. If I needed it shorter, I'd do it the other way. Yeah, and I go into great detail in my first video on how to utilize all of these effects. So if you wanna know more, definitely go watch that video. Now, both the video as well as the tour can have an AI voiceover added to it. When you're inside of the video, just choose AI and then add voiceover. When you're inside of the tour, just go over to the voiceover button right here. You can record your own voiceover if you'd like to. I think this is a new feature. I don't think it was there when I initially reviewed the tool. LayerPath also has a really great branding section over here where you can add your own logo. You may have seen that when I was sharing the links. You can actually have your own logo. You can add your own favicon and then you can choose the colors of the theme. So my brand color, I made red because that's kind of the highlight inside of the guides and I felt like it stood out on a lot of different backgrounds. And then the button theme, you can go ahead and set up your color, your text, and then choose whether you want square, rounded corners, or pill-shaped. For your fonts, you are limited. There's only a few available, but I feel like there's some pretty good options in here. You can choose a different font for the title and the description. For the brand voice, this is essentially going to be the default voice that's chosen for any of your AI content. You can choose any of the existing voices and then preview them over here. Here's Ariana. In the kitchen, the aroma of freshly baked bread filled the air. The loaves were golden brown and and here's Roderick. The train chugged along the tracks, carrying passengers to their destinations. So they sound pretty good. Next up, you can change your default language. There's a, quite a few languages available. And you can also set a canvas background. So when I made my video, it had kind of a gray color in the background because that's what I set. If you want to choose something over here, you can do a gradient, an abstract, which is basically just a, you know, kind of more involved gradient with like some shapes to it. Or you can choose a solid color. And finally, there's the option to turn off the watermark for layer path. So by default, this is on and it will add a layer path marking to all of your documents. So if you wanna turn that off, go ahead and do so. And the last feature I'd like to mention is the playlist feature. You can go ahead and create a playlist for a client or a coworker, put all of the tutorials or guides inside of that playlist, share that link with them, and then everything will be in one place. So you can create a new playlist right here. And then you can add a project by just clicking on the add projects button inside of the playlist editor. So it'll show you a list of all of your projects. Here's the one I just made. I'll choose this and now I've added it to my playlist. If I had more than one project in here, I could easily share the link, publish it, and then send it off and your recipient would get a playlist so they can choose whichever tutorial or guide they needed in that moment. Of course, on tier three and above, you can also add your own custom domain. Just go over to settings, choose custom domain, and then the option is right down here. 
All right, that is Layer Path. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.2. I highly recommend checking it out if you need to create any guides, SOPs, or maybe make a marketing video for your SaaS. I've got my link down below. Go ahead and check that to get the deal of the day. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or just for the algorithm. My name is Dave. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.